Well, should violent video games be made illegal? You can email us your opinion at send it at... Many kids spend a lot of time on their computers nowadays playing video games. Super Columbine Massacre is one of the games they're playing. 90,000 free copies of it were downloaded off the internet just last week. And a new trend in video games. These are games produced to disturb and hopefully educate players. They're free, they're downloaded off the internet. They're games like Super Columbine, Columbine Massacre, Massacre RPG. RPG. You may have guessed that it is based on the murder of 13 people at Columbine High School in Colorado in 1999. In the game, the player assumes the identity of one of the killers, Eric Harris or Dylan Klebold. The player goes on to overcome certain obstacles to commit the crime. He then dies and battles demons in hell. In these kinds of games, there's so much interactiveness, and that's what the fear level comes up. I mean, you watch a film, you read a book, you're trying to be more educated about something. Here, you're actually conducting the murders yourself. Video games are just another form of medium. Violent video games simply are not the problem. It could just be a, a, another tool that when we pile them all together would force our schools to look for causes, things like this. I see no way that you could in any way create the mindset that this was anything other than a really bad attempt to make money. The notion that a video game about Columbine, no matter its content, no matter how it presents the events, would automatically be offensive and couldn't possibly be productive is, is an interesting problem, an interesting cultural problem that we should really look at more closely. I think what's going on is that video games are still struggling to be seen as a medium and not just uh, a distraction, not just a kind of leisure time activity that you use to waste time. I personally don't care for it. I, I think it takes kids down a path of things being not normal, and if they do that long enough, they may believe that it is normal. It's not a game, really. Uh, play is, is really a rudimentary part. And I think if you play this game, you'll kind of realize, oh, you know, maybe this isn't so cool. Why would you even make a video game that would relate to something so so tragic? I don't, I just don't understand why would we continue on uh, kind of putting it in people's faces as if it was a joke or something. You don't play this game and feel Oh, I'm, I'm really glad to be enacting this. You feel very conflicted and extremely uncomfortable. And that's a perspective I think that's, that's worthwhile. I, I've played it, or tried, tried to play it, but we couldn't get past the part where you bomb the, uh, where you bomb the cafeteria.